We have finalized the entire NX2007 major update training in different languages, which is available via our website. And today I'd like to show you one of the enhancements you can expect from NX2007. It is the new group function. Maybe you remember it's one of the oldest functions in order to create groups. And I'm not sure whether you were working with this type of group because it has not been associative in the past. So everything you collect within this certain group is not associative and you always have to redefine the group members, etc. But now there is an enhancement which I'd like to show you. And of course, there are various use cases, especially because this type of group now can be combined with interpart links, meaning wavelengths or product interfaces, which is not topic of this video. If you're interested in seeing certain workflows, just leave a comment below this video. Anyway, I'd like to show you a use case, which might be interesting for every one of you. And I'm also going to show you an alternative solution for those who are not yet working with the latest release of Siemens and X. So I started new group by using search. And what you see here is pretty typical for the new group. And what you see here is the renewal. You now have the possibility to use a specific selection rule. And you can choose between the typical selection rules here. And the benefit is that the selection is associative. So I'm going to be using tangent faces because I'm going to collect all the outer faces of this part, meaning the visible faces by using tangent faces. And the question now is which face shall I select? Initially, shall it be this one or that one or maybe this one? And of course, it should be a face that does not change. So this one, which you see here is the top face of an extrude of a certain main body, which is not changed after a modification. So I'm going to be using this one. If you for example, select this face, problems might appear because if you for example, remove one of these cylinders, or maybe this one, or maybe change the number of cylinders to three. However, this face might disappear. And when it is referenced by new group by the tangent faces selection rule, the new group might be empty after what so I'm going to be using this one. Every tangent adjacent face is selected as well, all the visible faces. So I'm going to apply via the center mouse button. And now you see that the color has changed as well. Why just because if you have a look below this folder here, groups, it's group zero. It's just because the group is associated to a specific color in that case green. And if you right click the group, maybe you have experience already because this has been available in the past as well. You can add a display here, and you can change the coloration. I'm going to apply this, I'm going to apply this. Now color has changed. I'm going to prove the associativity by modifying one of the sketches. So I'm going to double click this. And I'm going to delete all the curves with an active sketch by just using control and A on the keyboard. And I'm going to create, for example, a polygon with um, five sides instead. And if you're interested in learning how to create such stable and time efficient construction, which are also reusable, we have created a training therefore, which is called NX cat secrets for beginners or advanced users. And just have a look in the description below this video, I'm going to post a link. Anyway, the NX cat secrets training is from now on always included in our NX update training. So if you are going to book an update training from BizLearn, you will also get the NXCAD secrets training. As you can see, the number of objects has changed and the color is adopted just because of the tangent selection rule. If you are not working on the latest release already, there is an alternative solution in order to create some associated color which you can find within the synchronous modeling group. And I'm just going to expand here. It is called a group 
face which you need and it's listed here. Group face also has a tangent rule included. I'm going to be selecting, for example, the inner faces via a left click. And all tangent faces are going to be selected, are going to be collected. I'm going to apply a wire center mouse button. And here it is. The group face does not own a color yet. So I'm going to right click this and assign a feature color. Here it says no color. I'm going to specify a color and I'm going to be using this one, for example. Below settings, you can see it's associated to a feature. I'm going to apply via the center mouse button. So this is an alternative if you're not working on the latest major release. And by the way, as I mentioned before already, there is a further enhancement related to group. You can combine it with wavelengths, so you can transport group information towards other parts, which might be interesting for cam operation creation. However, there might be a lot of use cases. Maybe you have an idea, just leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also enable the annotation toggle to be informed about new video content on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye, Simon.